Since so our previous videos, we have already talked about your troubleshootings and monitoring your logs. Now here in this video, we are going to do something extra. We are going to see how we can deploy and cloud ready applications in your Azure. So you should know you have different devices. I want to create an application which you can directly download from your cloud. It should be ready to use. And also we are going to see how we can create different production environment and different version, different stages for the applications. So this might be the difficulty you might be facing when you create an application. You have already created an application and you have some more features to add in their applications. You can add before you publish it. But if you have published this particular application and next you want to add more features, you won't be able to download or upload those particular features in the existing version. What you can do is you can create a different version of that application along with the additional features and you can define these stages for this particular applications. Once you define the stages and the user is connecting to the older version, you can notify the user to get access to the latest version of that applications. Once he hit that particular notification, he will be able to get the new featured applications with him. So this is how generally we are going to deploy an applications and troubleshoot the problem generally we used to face during different versions of your applications. So let us begin with over here where we are going to check how we can create a cloud ready applications and deploy it different versions. So for creating your cloud ready applications, what you can do, you can search for your cloud services. Search for cloud services. Generally, you get it into your classic. So uh, I'll move into this particular classic cloud service. And once you move here, what you can do, you can add your uh, cloud service or any of your applications. You want to do a cloud directly. So you can add it. Define the name of your DNS. So generally DNS name. For example, just I'm going to take a demo training.com and uh, demo training. Okay, and then I'm going to define it into my existing resource group, which I have, that is RG1. And the location I can use that is your central US or any other location which is available as per your convenience. Here I'm going to take, uh, uh, okay, so if I'm not able to get this particular service into the location, generally you get an um, information that is, is not available here. And then we can move into your West India, okay. Select the package which you require for the deployment. So you can def define any uh, deployment level. For example, package one, I'm going to deploy with this name, uh, whether it is located in your local system or from your blob. So I'm just going to use into my local system as of now. Upload a package, which should be either in your uh, SCPKG format or zip format. So I'll be using my zip format here, okay. Then you need to upload your CF, uh, that is your configuration file. So I'll be uh, defining or creating my configuration file from, okay, so I have kept this configuration file here. I can define it. In which environment you just want to deploy this application into your production or staging. So I'll be using the default one stage, uh, your production environment. Once you have done with it, uh, you need to deploy the roles contained to a single instance. If you want, you can define it. Same way you can add the certificates and then you can create this cloud service. So once you have created this particular cloud service, so what will happen this particular application as you generally provide your application, web application, mobile application on the cloud. So in spite directly, you can uh, create your cloud services, uh, the, kind, uh, the kind of service which directly will be provided by your cloud itself. So you can use this uh, resource and you can go to your resources and you can find this is a demo training and which is we have created as your uh, application, but it is treated as your cloud application service that is deployed onto your classic. So this we can, uh, in short, we can say this is a old application deployment service which we had into your Azure manager. So if suppose you are asked to deploy your uh, cloud services or cloud applications, so this is the same one and same thing we generally have, but only the thing is that it will be deployed into your classic format. So um, you can see this is a resource group we generally have. We uh, can find out into different locations. We can group into different resources, resource groups. And when we search for your cloud applications, you will be getting only into the 
classic environment. So if I want to search for my the cloud application which I have created, so we can move into your cloud service and we will be able to see this application which is deployed using the classic service or classic model of your Azure. So this is what we have seen how we can deploy a cloud ready applications into your Azure Classic.